Guys, hello and welcome to the video. Now, after six short weeks, my new Anthem wheels, the 20 by 12s, have finally arrived. But in the spirit of keeping things clean and well detailed, like you guys know I love to, Adams Polishes sent me this ceramic wheel coating kit to ceramic coat these bad boys before we put them onto the truck. Now, I haven't unboxed the ceramic kit or the wheels yet because I wanted to do that on camera. Um, this is, like I said, the ceramic wheel coating kit from Adams Polishes. It's a complete kit that comes with an applicating pad, the ceramic wheel coating, a borderless gray towel, the ceramic boost, and a coating prep. It runs currently for $150 and will be available. Link is in the description below. So anyway, the packaging comes with a nice sleeve. The packaging is actually really nice. This is like a cardboard box, but it's very nicely put together. As you see, we open the box like this and it's, uh, it's well presented. So let's see, we get First thing we get is a wheel pamphlet, or sorry, a pamphlet that says wheel coating, durable long lasting protection from brake dust and road grime. Gives you some instructions. We'll keep those. I would love to throw them for the camera, but I will probably need them. We get an extra, is that an extra microfiber that wasn't on the, all right. There's no microfiber listed on the packaging, but we got an extra microfiber, which we can't complain about. So we're already ahead. Uh, like I said, it gives you the borderless gray towel, the applicating sponge, another towel, a pair of gloves. Actually, I was gonna run out to my truck and grab some gloves, so good thing, uh, good thing they're there. We've got the ceramic boost. I believe this is the, uh, I don't know if this is the 1.0 or the 2.0, but it's a different color than the ceramic boost that I get in the bottle. Like I said, the applicator, the coating prep, and the ceramic wheel coating itself. So uh, let's, let's get one of these wheels unboxed and we'll start to go through the, uh, the steps. Now, I do wanna say, obviously it's a lot easier and a lot more beneficial to prep these wheels and ceramic coat them before they're ever installed. So I'm gonna literally take it straight out of the box and apply the ceramic coating. But if they are already on your vehicle, I would definitely, if you are able to, dismount them, get them dismounted, get them cleaned incredibly well using either a wheel cleaner, um, an all-purpose eco cleaner, something like that just to get all that grime off the front and the back and then you want to use your uh, your surface prep to prep them for the ceramic coating but it's going to be a lot easier to ceramic coat them obviously off the vehicle and with the tire dismounted so now that we've uh, got all that stuff out the way let's get right into it and check out the wheel and start working so guys as i said let's find something here we are this is the anthem wheels enforcer the a720 the Enforcer style wheel. It's a 20 by 12, like I told you, five and five point, sorry, five by five and a half lug pattern to fit my truck. I currently have a 20 by 10 with a negative 24 offset. This is a 20 by 12, negative 44 offset. These are a cast wheel, they're not forged. Uh, they look to be in good condition. I like the, the finish of them. I got a gloss finish this time, uh, and they have some kind of they're not billet aluminum, but they're like a polished aluminum inner spoke. I think that'll look good with the chrome on the uh, on the door handles and the bumpers of the truck. the fun part. Like I said, if you have had these wheels mounted before, you want to use an Adams wheel cleaner to completely clean and dry them before you go on to this next step. Now, once you have a perfectly clean wheel, I'm going to lay it down this way. We're going to get one of our borderless gray utility towels. Let's shake out any extra microfiber. We're going to get our coating prep even though these are brand new 
out of the box. We don't know what happened at the factory. I'm going to fold this into a four square like so. We're going to spray this directly onto the microfiber, right? Then what we're going to do, it smells good actually, then what we're going to do is just do uh, one final wipe around the entirety of the wheel, including the lip, the barrel of the wheel, which is, uh, you know, the part that looks like a barrel, <coughs> and then the spokes. I know you guys can't see this ex immediately, but trust me, I'm just wiping it down. A couple of things to note with this process is you have to, uh, once you apply the coating, the ceramic coating, you have to leave the vehicle untouched in the dry for a period of at least 24 hours. That's why obviously I'm gonna take care of this before I even install the wheels onto the truck. That way I'm not tempted to drive it before the ceramic is cured. Next, we wanna put on our supplied rubber gloves so we don't get any of that ceramic coating onto our little fingies. But this is obviously the most important part and the most dangerous part because if you're gonna ruin anything or mess anything up, this is gonna be the step that you most likely do it. So for this part, we want the red microfiber applicator pad and we also want the ceramic wheel coating. Now, if you read the instructions, it tells you to apply a few drops of this onto the microfiber applicator pad. You then want to immediately put the cap back on this so that the product does not start to cure inside the bottle while you're applying the ceramic on the microfiber to the wheel. Now, this is a relatively big wheel. I don't want to do it all at once, nor should you do it all at once. So I'm gonna pick kind of a landmark. I'm gonna use the word off-road, and I'm gonna do maybe three sections at a time. Okay, so now that we have the bottle cap off, finally, I'm going to apply the ceramic coating to my applicator pad. We're gonna start here at the Anthem label, and we're just gonna nicely do back and forth strokes to make sure that we cover enough of the, uh, enough of the wheel to make sure that it's level, we don't miss any sections but you also want to work relatively quickly when, uh, when doing this so that it doesn't start to cure before you're ready. So, now that we've applied it, we're going to get our other borderless gray towel. We're going to give it about 15 to 20 seconds. I'm going to get another quick visual to just see where I applied it so I don't overlap next time. We're gonna wait about 15 to 20 seconds, like I said, and then we're gonna immediately buff off the ceramic coating with our remaining borderless gray towel. Meanwhile, I'm gonna apply the ceramic coating to the applicator, and same thing, we're just gonna do a nice brush stroke. I can see the product going onto the wheel. So I'm just gonna be conscious in my head of where I'm applying the product so that I can be ready to buff it off. Like I said, the cure time on this is only about 15 or 20 seconds. I will say it is very easy to apply compared to uh, the ceramic paint coating that I have experience with. It was not an Adams coating and there is no video on it but that was a lot harder product to work this is a very easy product to work for a for a basic consumer level the instructions are step by step as we've gone over and um, everything's provided in the kit so it's nice I will say one thing is you absolutely don't want this uh, stuff to harden onto your rim so like I said we're only we're only leaving it for about 15 or 20 seconds, and then we're gonna buff it right back off. Again, I'm gonna remember 
which section I did so I can complete this process off camera. things I want to add. After you've applied the ceramic coating and buffed it off, you want to make sure that nothing else touches these wheels, whether it be water, sand, dust, even ceramic boost. Nothing touches these wheels for the next 24 hours to make sure that this ceramic coating has an opportunity to dry so it can perform the function that you bought it for. So I do have the technical specifications while we're waiting the 24 hour cure period on this wheel ceramic coating. The ceramic coating is a 9H hardness and a 20% film thickness. It lasts about 300 washes without the ceramic boost. Uh, I'm not sure with the ceramic boost, maybe what, 400? I apply ceramic boost to the truck every Sunday when I wash it. I'll probably do the same to the wheels just to keep them nice as long as possible and to keep that brake dust off. Uh, the difference between the ceramic coating you would put on your vehicle and the ceramic coating for the wheels is they're both a 9H hardness, but because the wheel the wheel ceramic coating has a higher percentage film thickness. It withstands more heat and more abrasion because of the, uh, the heat from the brakes and the things of that nature. The wheels obviously take a lot more abuse than the paint, I believe, because of the, you know, the brake dust and things of that nature. So because of the thicker film, it has a higher heat resistance for the wheels. Again, I will say it's very easy to apply. We're gonna leave it for 24 hours in this same video, so uh... Guys, I have been literally dying to film the end of this video, but the end is near, but not now. The wheels have been curing for about 48 hours, so I wanna take an updated look at the cure. I'm gonna apply the ceramic boost off camera because basically you spray the ceramic boost onto the borderless gray towel, wipe it on, let it cure, buff it off. Super easy, but I wanna give you a first impression uh, there's a little bit of dog hair but they're very very smooth it's very I mean obviously it's very smooth but you know there's a couple on the inner lip just little spots that I can see I miss but not a big deal um, you know the coating is very nice very nice indeed I'm very happy with uh, how this came out and then, of course I'm very happy with the fact that the wheels are going to be protected all the much better. So that's great news. Um, the video for me won't end for a couple more days, but the next scene for you guys will be seeing these wheels on the truck in the elements with some crispy B-roll. You're welcome. I can finally finish the end of this ceramic coating video. Now, I left them out in the dust for a couple of days. So you can see there's some dust stuck to it. There's some uh, smudging from, oh, that's bright. There's some smudging from when I uh, uh, had them installed. So I'm gonna spray them down with the pressure washer now and see how the ceramic coat reacts to water. And uh, then we can finally finish this video. So enjoy the slow-mo. So there we have it guys, for you saw from the short clips. Uh, I really like how the water beaded. I'm very impressed with the ceramic coating and for the price and the ease of application for the end user, I would definitely give this one a thumbs up. So guys, that is the end of the video and for me and my two crazy canines in our new backyard pavers. Thank you so much for watching. Please do click the link in the top of the description if you want to check out the ceramic coating for your wheels from Adams Polishes yourself. Other than that, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like on it as it helps other people find these videos in the search results. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.
Ryan Little. <laughs> Yoga! 